Hi, I'm James Norton for Chata.com Super Taster, and if you're like me, you've been hearing a lot about the bacon apocalypse, the the end of bacon as we know it, the bacon shortage. That means that bacon may be a thing of the past. Now it's pretty scary stuff, but it's you know it's been rebutted in a number of places. It's kind of controversial, and you know we're growing bacon in labs, so I I, I think ultimately we're going to be fine. But on the offhand chance that we're coming to the end of bacon as we know it. I thought I'd get out there and try some fake bacons. I'm gonna try a couple of turkey bacons, a couple of veggie protein bacons, and a couple of marinated tempeh bacons. So we'll see how that goes. Let's eat a bunch of bacon and let's break it down. At the bottom of my heap was Light Life Smart Bacon. It clocked in with seven points, and it was, uh, it's the only bacon that actually made me angry before I could get it on the stove. It came in this nasty clump, uh, totally hollow taste, no flavor whatsoever, a little bit of salt afterwards, and light to the point of being totally empty, so big thumbs down. Next up is Turtle Island's Food Maple Marinated Tempeh. Now these little strips uh, don't really look particularly like bacon. There's no bacon taste, no bacon texture whatsoever. It's got this nutty, smoky flavor, a little bit of maple flavor to it. It's just not even vaguely in the same category as bacon, except, and I will grant this, um, they're re rectangular. Next up, Oscar Mayer turkey bacon. There's not much flavor there. It's a little too chewy, a little too soft. Uh, it's got a salty taste to it. It's just kind of a little bit empty and hollow. It doesn't really emulate bacon successfully. It's not awful, but I, I couldn't really find any use for it in the kitchen. At the middle of the pack is Light Life Tempa Bacon called Fakin' Bacon. It's got a, a real umami to it. It's got a nutty kind of ricey flavor to it. What's that got to do with bacon, you might be asking? Not a whole hell of a lot, but it's good on its own. I could see it in a sandwich as a bacon substitute. It's really a parallel far removed but totally honorable track. My second favorite false bacon product is Morningstar Farms bacon strips, which come frozen. Everything else is refrigerated. Uh, it looks like at least they're trying. It's got kind of a stripy bacon color to it. The strips peel apart really easily, uh, unlike the smart bacon, so I totally like that. It tastes like really cheap but actually real bacon. It's got a real crispy saltiness. It'd be really good broken up on a, a salad or put in a sandwich. Finally, my very favorite of all six, the fake bacons, Welshire uncured turkey bacon. It pulls apart and feels like real bacon in your mouth. It's a little more like a Canadian bacon flavor, I think, than a, uh, a bacon bacon flavor, but it just, it, it could totally fool me in terms of being the real thing. So there you go. You are totally prepared for the bacon apocalypse. Get out there and eat some fake bacon. Uh, for Chata.com Super Taster, I'm James Norton. Please subscribe to YouTube uh, if you haven't already. Get on my YouTube channel. And I will see you on Friday with more great food.